Hi everyone, my name is Irene and welcome to Theo and Olaf. With me is Olaf, our 10 month old Samoya puppy. And if you're here, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Samoyeds are so cute. They're so fluffy. They have the most magnificent smile. And if you're thinking seriously of getting a Samoya, that is great. But as a forewarning, Samoyeds are a lot of hard work. Um, I thought I knew about the traits already and that I thought I would be mentally prepared, but I still really wasn't. So I'm gonna give you a layman's version today of what it actually means to own a Samoyed puppy. So number one, Samoyeds are very high energy dogs, but I would actually translate that as they are quite crazy dogs. Sure, they have their off moments like now, but for the most part, it can be really difficult to tire Samoyeds out, um, especially as puppies. Um, when Olaf was a puppy, first thing in the morning, he was so hyper, so vocal, and it was just so much work just to um, keep him entertained. And especially male pups, um, I can't speak for any female Samoyeds because I've never owned one, but male pups just love to play. So it was, it's been a constant struggle trying to figure out how to keep Olaf entertained. The other thing is that Samoyeds can be pretty reactive, especially in new environments. Um, whenever we would take Olaf outside, he would just be so stimulated by the new environment, by people, by dogs, and he would be so reactive. So I would say Samoyeds naturally aren't what you call a calm breed. Um, it doesn't come to them naturally. You have to teach them to be calm. You have to teach them when to relax. So that's just something first I would be very aware of. Number two, Samoids are known to be very vocal. And I would translate very vocal to mean that they're very barky. Um, I didn't realize that right away. For some reason, I thought very vocal meant something along the lines of how a cat makes a lot of different noises. Like they chirp, they chatter, but dogs don't talk like that. And Samoids just love to bark. Um, and they have this high-pitched banshee sound that would surprise you. Um, a lot of people are like, why did that like chihuahua-like sound come out of this big dog? Um, but yeah, they have this really high-pitched uh, bark. Um, and the other thing is that Samoyeds are very talkative about their frustration or even their happiness. Um, so when Olaf was a pup, he used to do a lot more demand barking. If he had to wait in the playpen while we were taking care of some errand, he would be so loud with his barking, be very frustrated. But they're also very talkative when they're happy, when they want to greet people, when they want to greet dogs. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Teaching them quiet is a very hard thing to do. Um, that takes a lot of patience and training. Number three, Samoids are known to be hard to train. And I would say that's half true because Samoids are very intelligent and they can pick up basic commands very easily at home. So Olaf was potty trained within say a week and a half and he learned the basic commands pretty quickly as well. Sit, stay, down, etc. The part that was really difficult was training him in a more public setting. So puppy class, outdoors, um, they're so smart that they can choose just not to listen to you and then pursue whatever they're distracted by. Um, I would also warn you that if you are in puppy class that um, Samoyeds are probably gonna be the most talkative, most disruptive kid in class. So it's gonna be a little bit embarrassing. It was for us and we were just really frustrated, but it's something to be aware of. If that happens, just take them out, let them calm down. And I would also recommend just doing one-on-one -on -one training. I think that's probably more effective for them and you can address these problem behaviors early on. Number four, Samoyeds are known to be loving and affectionate dogs. And I would say that is very true and it's also to an extreme. Um, these dogs would wanna be attached to your hip if possible. So Samoids are great in that they're very sweet. They're not aggressive at all. They're great family dogs. Um, they love kids. Um, very people oriented, very, very gentle in general in that manner. Um, but I would say that they love people so much that they can develop a bit of separation anxiety and they don't do well in a crate for too long. If you put them in the crate for say more than four or five hours, they're gonna be very frustrated um, and not do very well with that. So you gotta make sure that they are well exercised, that you spend plenty of time with them during the day. Um, the other thing I will say is that um, because they feel so attached to your hip that they can be a bit nosy. Um, they will tend to follow you around the house. So if you're in the kitchen, they'll come up to you. There are many times where I'm in the bathroom and Olaf just pops out of nowhere. So it's kind of funny, but also a bit like, okay, I need some privacy too. So that's just something to know that you will have a constant companion. Number five, 
You probably know already, but Samwise are from Siberia, which is a really cold part of Russia. What that means for you is that you probably want to keep your Samwise as cool as possible because they thrive and are most comfortable in cooler environments. Um, so you probably want to turn on the AC or keep a fan on during the summer months. Um, and then when it comes to crate training, keep it as keep your crate as cool as possible. What you can do is that you can get a uh, quartz or marble slab and put down on the bottom of the crate to keep that cool. Um, Samoyeds love to lay on floors and you can kind of simulate that colder floor environment in their crate as well. What we like to use is actually to use ice packs in Olaf's crate. Um, we recommend using the one from Yeti here and Olaf is kind of uh, it's just sniffing my feet, like it's going towards the ice pack. But we love the one from Yeti because it takes a uh, shorter time to freeze. Um, it stays colder a lot longer compared to other ice packs we've used. And it's just really durable. Um, if your pup just loves to chew, um, this ice pack is great at just uh, resisting that. Um, I haven't seen it be pierced at all. You can see a little demo here, Olaf is chewing on it, but I'm not concerned at all because these are pretty hefty. Number six, this is really obvious, but Samoyeds are very fluffy. So what this means is that there's a lot of maintenance with regards to their coat. Um, Olaf sheds quite a bit, um, not enough to make a hat per se, like you've probably seen in some Instagram reels of sorts, but there is constantly fur on the ground, um, on our furniture. So there's a lot of sweeping and mopping that we have to do like every few days or so. Um, he sheds more now than he did as a puppy, um, but it's just something that you have to maintain uh, to keep your house clean. The other thing is, is that there is a bit of work with grooming Samoyeds. They do have a thick uh, double coat and you have to make sure you give them a good brush out at least once a week. Um, and there's a lot of easy to miss areas that could lead to knots or just bad matting if you don't take care of those earlier. So for Olaf, he's had some knots um, near his ears. He's had some on his elbows. Um, he had knots that were kind of bad near his neck and ear area that the groomer actually shaved it uh, without actually telling us. So we were kind of upset, but it was kind of our fault as well for just not um, checking those spots more, regu more regularly and just brushing them out. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Grooming them is a bit of work as well to maintain their coat. So that's it. Those are the top six things I would say you can expect when you get a Samway puppy. Obviously that list isn't exhaustive. There's probably a few more points they can add to that. But I hope you found this to be very useful. Um, as you can tell, Samoyeds take a lot of time and energy. Your life will be changed. Um, you're probably more tired, probably more frustrated during the early days of having your pup. Um, but you just gotta stick it out, um, be consistent, have a routine. And ultimately, you'll see the rewards of it. Um, Olaf is definitely a lot calmer, as you can see now. Um, he is less reactive, which is great. So yeah, I would say it's a true test of patience, but you'll get through it if you're committed to it. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this video to be useful. If you're thinking of getting a Samoyed puppy, or you have been through the period of having a Samoyed puppy yourself, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear your experience and what you're thinking. And as always, if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.